Hi, right, this is Ron McTube. We're playing Hunter Call of Wild on PC. One Quattro Kalinas. And guess what? Ron has spotted a level 5. Basati. Basati. Hi, Bex. I've got to get that right. And look, here he is. It is a beauty. Now, if you have seen my earlier video, I had a level 5 in this position, which went up to the right and up the mountain. We shot it, and it was a 9 4 6. It was so close. Could this be the diamond? Ibex I've been after for my trophy lodge. We've been smashing the trophies in the last few days and it's looking really nice. My Albino room is literally full. I know there's already people already typing Dur -dur -dur. Albino, Albino, Ron, it's how you pronounce it, but I'll say Albino. Um, <laughs> a lot of our American friends are probably saying, you don't say that, that Ron, it's not like that. But that's how I say it. <laughs> that's all that matters. Right, let's hopefully get this level 5 Bassetta Ibex. I'm going to say it different every time. So if I say something different every time, then I, I'm sure to get right. Look at that, I thought that was it. That's a level 4, that's a monster. I can't believe that's a level 4. Some of the 4s are absolute trolls. Look, there's not much difference between that 4 and that 5. He's running straight towards me. Alright, come on. Is that it? That's a 4. Like I say, it looks literally the same. There's not much difference. I thought that was it. That's a three. I've right, got a drinking zone. If you come to this spot about 11, push the Ibex down the left and they stay in this sort of spot. If they don't stay in this spot, they go up the mountain in front of you. So just know that. It's good knowledge when you come to this area. There's up to probably fifth there. In a group sometimes when you come to this area so herd them push them down this left hand side and then they will go up the slope you could bow hunt them here which a lot of people might have trouble trying to work out how to get them because there's no callers you could bow hunt them you can shoot them on the rocks you can catch them in this corner so it's a really useful spot now I'm not going to rush this because we got a 946 last time and I felt a little peed off <laughs> I'm going to be a pillar I'm not going to swear but I, I wanted to swear Hey, up. hey, oh look at that, stay there. Oh, I just turned, I was going to shoot that. They do this little thing, the Ibex. Uh, they do like a little rotation, I don't know what that's about. If that had stood round, that would have been like a picturesque moment. I don't want to shoot it like sort of diagonal on, because we might just get one lung, I want to get two lung. Stay there, oh don't squat. Now it's coming back to me. I know there's quite a few probably saying, shoot it, shoot it already. <laughs> I'm not going to rush it. I've probably seen a thousand different uh, Bassetti Ibex. What are you watching? He's watching me. <laughs> this bush. This small one. He's run down to my side. Where is he? See, now I know how this lake works and how they roam. Oh, he's fleeing to the right. Hopefully we can catch him in the clear. Oh, he's getting a bit too far now. I don't want him to get away. We're just going to have to uh, hope we pull off a perfect shot. Get ready. Here it goes. In the clearing. Come on. That felt nice. That felt nice. I think that's good enough. Is he going to drop? Yes, he has dropped. I was a bit worried there. The 6.5 is good at range, but it doesn't seem to have much knocking power. That's the only thing I'd say about it. It's a brilliant gun for long range shots, goats, uh, sheep. The knocking power can seem a little weak sometimes. Um, not so many downfall, I'd say, on it. But we have got the level 5 Ibex. Is it going to be a diamond? Come on. Be a diamond for Ron. It is a diamond, yes. 963. Really happy about that because, like I say, I've been hunting on here for about a week. So I had early access to it, doing the stream as weekend. And I have probably seen a thousand <laughs> different Bessetti, Bessetti Ibex. In that period and I've seen one level 5 that's my second one I've seen and it's a 963 it weighs 107 kilo for those who are interested about what weight they are and we've got a diamond so I'm happy that's going in the lodge uh, what's next what do you want to see me hunt next uh, what diamond species should we get I am continuing my ibex uh, hunting we've got to get the other species I've had a Ronda one but not a big trophy one so drop in the comments what you want to see uh, me hunting next. I'm so happy about that. It's been a bit of a relief. I've been putting in so many hours, uh, unhealthy hours, I think, <laughs> trying to get this, and uh, it's finally paid off. 
If you haven't seen my other videos, uh, make sure you check those out. I've been giving lots of games and DLCs for this new uh, Quattro Kalinas Reserve. If you haven't claimed those yet, make sure you do. Uh, they need to be claimed. I know I've given a lot out already, and a lot of people have claimed on Steam, but some of them might not have been won yet, so check out the earlier videos. Would like a diamond move flom. I've only seen fours up to yet, not seen a level five one of those. This is where we're at, and like I say, come here between 10 and sort of 12, and this area is absolutely full of the CT Ibex and Mouflon sheep. Right, we're in the uh, Sasiki Safari Trophy Lodge, looking beautiful, and here is our new Diamond Edition. Hope you enjoyed the video. That's been me, Ron McChew. We've been hunting on Quattro Kalinas, Hunt the Call of Wild. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.